to take Audi Sport to a whole new level. Our RS models are the spearheads of the Audi portfolio. They stand for performance, prestige, exceptional design and exclusivity. It's all about the flared arches. The most important thing is the single frame. In the case of the RS6, it's sitting a lot lower 
We have the side air intakes that are huge to catch enough air. Development tests take place in multiple countries, in all climate zones and weather conditions all over the world. We have a clear focus to develop our cars for all big markets all over the world. I believe our customers deserve the best products on market. Therefore, we have the best specialists and the best teams to meet these high expectations of our customers. The RS has more distinctive lines, has a more brawny look. The service of each vehicle is inspected to ensure that each vehicle here comes to the customer in top quality. Our vision is to be at the forefront of technology and to be a prime example for modern leadership. We have a great brand, a great and a strong team and a clear focus at Audi Sport. We are also looking forward to finally see it on the street. High performance is not just limited to our products. It's a core belief which runs our whole company. Hello everyone and welcome. The moment has finally arrived. Today is the day we've all been waiting for and your patience is finally going to be rewarded. Today we get to officially talk about arguably some of the most exciting arrivals onto the automotive scene in the past year. Introduced in 2019 to global acclaim and loud cheers from car fanatics the world over, the time has come for us to officially welcome the all-new Audi RS Q8, RS7 and RS6, as well as the Audi R8 into our region. We have an exciting schedule ahead with a variety of experts, guests and friends of the brand. So stay tuned and don't miss a thing. All of today's events will be available on our social media platforms post the stream. So if you miss anything, you know where to find us. So without further ado, let's get the show started. Sit back, grab your popcorn and enjoy the show. How do you perfect something that is already perfect? With imposing design that reflects the top of the RS line and underscores its powerful appearance. From solid side air inlets to oval tailpipes. With a powertrain that combines high efficiency and maximum performance. An intelligent mild hybrid system improves ride comfort and reduces fuel consumption. With a suspension that is ready for anything. Providing precision, regardless of the surface. It's the sum of all these ideas that turns an SUV into the prestigious spearhead of the RS model family. The Audi RS Q8. I guess you know what's coming up next. Introducing our first guest. When these guys speak, car fans listen. Last year, Audi Middle East sent one of them all the way to Spain to sample this mighty product. So who better to tell us all about the sportiest Q than the man who has actually driven one? Please welcome from Arab GT, Mr. Musab Shisha. Thank you, Zahira, for that lovely introduction. I'm going to switch to Arabic now. متحمس جدا ان واخيرا وصلت سياره الاودي ار اس كيو 8 على اسواقنا. كنت انا واحد من الاشخاص زي ما خبرتكم زهيره من المحظوظين اللي اختبرت السياره في جزيره تنريف الاسبانيه، اختبرناها على الطرق الجبليه والطرق المتعرجه، واختبرنا كل الانظمه الرهيبه الموجوده بهاي السياره بالوحش الار اس كيو 8. بتعرف شغله؟ خلينا نغوص اكثر ونتكلم اكثر عن تفاصيل الار اس كيو 8. بما انه وصلت الاودي ار اس كيو 8 واخيرا على منطقتنا خلينا نغوص شوي بالتفاصيل التقنيه تاعت السياره شوفوا لي الوحش الجميل اللي امامكم 
بداية المحرك تبع السيارة شو بتتوقع المحرك؟ أكيد محرك V8 4000 سي سي توين تيربو تشارج، هذا المحرك العملاق عم بولد قوة حصانية مقدارها 600 حصان عزم الدوران بهاي السيارة الـ SUV الضخمة عم يصل ل 800 نيوتن متر من التورك بتتسارع سيارة الأودي RSQ8 من 0 ل 100 ب 3 ثواني فاصل 8 أجزاء من الثانية فقط غير عن المحرك العملاق الموجود أيضا أودي عم بتضيف بطارية مايلد هايبريد على سيارتها الأودي RSQ8 بقوة 48 فولت والسرعة القصوى للأودي RSQ8 عم بتكون 250 كيلو متر مثبت إلكترونيا أو في الطرازات الأداء العالي عم تصل ل 305 كم بالساعة مثبتة أيضا إلكترونيا مين الأشخاص اللي بفرع أودي سبورت الفرع قسم الرياضي لإنتاج السيارات الرياضية اللي بألمانيا عم بيشتغلوا على هيك سيارات بتعرفوا شغلة بما أنه إحنا على البث المباشر خلينا ننتقل مع بعض على إنجلوشتاك بألمانيا على الهيد كورتر خلينا نسمع من أحد الأشخاص اللي اشتغلوا على الأودي آر اس كيويت Hello to all the Audi fans out there in Middle East My name is Rolf Michel heading marketing and sales department at the Audi Sport GmbH. Today, it's a big pleasure for me to join you virtually to talk about one of our most amazing cars in our portfolio at the moment, the brand new Audi RS Q8. The RS Q8 is not only the top of the line of the Q models. For us, it is even more. It is the prestigious spearhead of the whole RS family. With its off-road capability and the unique design concept, it offers additional dimension of a sporty perception beside the well-known RS genes. With this car, we are also entering a complete new segment, which is experiencing a strong growth. As we sell the RS Q8 worldwide, we are expecting a total effect on the whole RS model range. Of course, one of the focused regions for this supercar is the Middle East region. Therefore, I'm really pleased to show you some of the amazing details of the brand new RS Q8 right now. If we're gonna have a look at the front, you really see an aggressive look. First of all, we're gonna see the big air intakes, leading the air exactly where it should be, to the V8 bi-turbo engine with 600 horsepower and up to 800 newton meters of torque. Design differentiation is one of the core elements of an RS model. Here you're gonna see also a lot of carbon. So the big air intakes, also with a well-known honeycomb mesh at the front and facing with specific HD LED matrix headlights with an RS specific animation. This gives the car really an aggressive look. So continuing at the sides, we even made to widen the wheel arches for the RS Q8, which also means it's positive for the stance of the wheels and therefore supporting the driving performance. With 23 inch wheels, we offer the biggest dimension of wheels ever in an RS model. And now having a look at the back, you see two big oval exhaust pipes and they are facing a big diffuser, which really, really enforces the strong character of the RS Q8. And with a big rooftop spoiler, it's also doing a complete picture of an aggressive and muscular design at the rear, and also for a perfect balance for the exactly downforce at the rear axle. So even the back with its big muscles is a strong end for the RS Q8. So the RS Q8 combines the beautiness of a premium coupe the flexibility of an SUV and the real driving performance of an RS model. So this car stands for a maximum driving performance, an everyday suitability, a really, really big, big amount of freedom through individualization and driving options. So hopefully you guys enjoy the car as much as we do. Going to see you soon and back to you. شكراً جزيلاً للمعلومات الرهيبة اللي سمعناها مع بعض من فريق العمل في أودي سبورت في إنجلوشتات من ألمانيا دخلنا على المقصورة تحت الأودي RS Q8 بداية عملية الكونكتيفيتي بين جوالك وبين السيارة عم تتطور كثير مع نظام الـ MMI المحدث الموجود على السيارة عندنا شاحن لاسلكي موجود في الأسفل أيضاً السيارة عليها خاصية أنك بتتفعل النظام الأندرويد أو الاي او اس بإمكانك تشبك جوالك على الشاشات العملاقة الموجودة في منتصف السيارة عندنا شاشتين منفصلات الشاشة اللي بالأعلى موجود عليها نظام الترفيه الانفوتيمنت سيستم الشاشة اللي بالأسفل عليها نظام التكييف الكلايمت كنترول وأيضا عليها خاصية تبريد المقاعد غير أنه في خاصية تبريد المقاعد أيضا الجلود الموجودة على السيارة عم بتكون مهواة فما بتنتص حرارة وهذه مهمة جدا بالحر وبالطقس الصيفي اللي موجود في منطقتنا أمام السائق نظام الآي كوكبت موجود فيه أبرز الإعدادات اللي بتحتاجها أنت كقائد المركبة وأيضا أمامك هيدا الديسبلاي عملاق 
ممتاز بيخلي عيونك دائما مركز بالطريق كانت هاي ابرز الاعدادات الامور الموجوده داخل مقصوره الاودي ار اس كيو انتهى يومي مع سيارة الأودي آر اس كيو 8 اتمنى تكونوا استمتعتوا بالبث المباشر معانا السيارة حاليا متوفرة في الأسواق السيارة متوفرة عند الوكلاء الإقليميين لشركة أودي بإمكانكم طبعا تشوفوا الويب سايت تبعهم أودي ام اي بإمكانكم تشوفوا الخيارات المتعددة للألوان الداخلية والخارجية وتشوفوا المواصفات اللي بتيح لكم إياها وكيل الوكيل الحصري في منطقتكم شكرا لكم وشكرا لمشاهدتكم Sorry. I was just texting my husband. I think the Marty family needs an RS upgrade. Thank you, Musab, for joining us today. You can follow him on social. Tags are on the screen. Up next, Audi Middle East is about to reveal what every car fanatic has been waiting for. Two V8 turbos with remarkable backgrounds. We're about to delve into an absolutely formidable duo with a fan following to match. The Audi RS6 and the Audi RS7. Let's watch. The best way to explain a product such as this is through simple facts. V8, two turbos, lots of horsepower, quattro. Also someone who knows more than I do about these things, please welcome Audi Middle East insider and product specialist, Suhey Biravi. Thank you, Zahira. It is great to be here in the presence of greatness with a royal lineage. Allow me to take you back in time. 50 years ago, Audi launched the Audi 100 a car ahead of its time in the late 60s. Little did we know that this car would become a grandfather of today's Audi A6. Fast forward 25 years, and we witnessed the introduction of the first RS, the legendary RS2 Avant, a car that paved the way for combining performance and practicality. To picture it, this family car could accelerate from 0 to 100 in just 5.4 seconds. Fast forward another 15 years, and the A7 was born, a sportback four-door version of the A6 set to translate into the RS7 shortly after. And today, we celebrate Audi's history of high performance and open two new RS chapters. Ladies and gentlemen, the all-new RS6 Avant and RS7 Sportback. First up, the RS6. The fourth generation of Audi's popular performance estate received a significant power increase and presents itself with a broader and more powerful appearance than ever. With this in mind, Audi's design team is paying tribute to the brand's ultimate RS icon. The RS7 Sportback is the arguably less popular, but by no means less charismatic sibling in its second generation. With the soul of an RS6, dynamite looks, and increased everyday practicality, you can be sure to put an impressive stance on the road. Now both the RS6 Avant and RS7 Sportback are powered by a 4-liter twin turbocharged V8, that produces 600 metric horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque. Paired with bigger turbochargers, that is a power increase of 40 horsepower and 100 newton meters. Equally impressive numbers are the sprint to 100 in just 3.6 seconds and the stretch to a top speed of 305 kilometers an hour with the optional dynamic package plus. A torque converter 8-speed gearbox transmits 40% of the power to the front, whereas 60% can be sent to the rear. However, in certain situations, 70% can be sent to the front and even up to 85% to the rear, making it, under certain circumstances, a rear-wheel drive car. Both of these cars are fitted with mild hybrid technology, a system that essentially allows you to enter into a coasting mode for up to 40 seconds by switching the engine off. They are also fitted with cylinder deactivation that engages at cruising speeds. Both of these systems are essentially designed to improve fuel economy. 
and against people claiming that comfort and convenience cannot be combined with high performance. Here are my top three features to prove them wrong. First up, Audi refined the RS Adaptive Air Suspension with controlled damping specifically for both cars and has both vehicles sitting 20 mm lower than their base versions on a standard suspension. At speeds over 120 km an hour, the cars are dropped by a further 10 mm to improve drag and traction. At low speeds, however, a 20 mm lift mode ensures a smooth and comfortable ride. Paired with the optional RS Sport Suspension Plus with dynamic ride control, diagonal all lines help to reduce pitch and roll movements and complement the suspension's widespread of comfort and sportiness. Say goodbye to speed bumps. At 5 meters and just over 2 tons, these two cars are certainly not lightweights and not too easy to maneuver. However, my second favorite feature, dynamic all-wheel steering, has you covered. Now the car comes standard with progressive steering for a more direct steering feedback and connection of the driver and the road. Upgrading to the dynamic all-wheel steering system allows you to turn the rear wheels opposite to the front by as much as 5 degrees thus decreasing turning circle at low speeds by up to one meter. And for better stability at high speeds and when cornering, the rear wheels turn in the same direction to the front wheels by up to two degrees. And finally, to complement both cars' everyday suitability and sportiness, there is a wide range of assistance systems that takes care of you in the driver's seat at all times. Such systems include the adaptive cruise control with the sensors beautifully integrated into the single frame grille, and help you to keep a safe distance to the car in the front, 360 degree cameras all around the vehicle to ensure easy maneuvers in tight parking lots, or the optional head-up display that keep your eyes where they belong, on the road. Now let's talk about the exterior design of the Audi R6 and Audi R7, and I believe that this is where both cars differ the most. Both vehicles borrow the tailgate, the roof, and the front doors from their respective base models, with the exception of the R6 also taking the bonnet with the power dome from the A7. All other parts are completely new and R specific design elements. Now let's start at the front, and I believe that this is where most of the stuff is going on. First of all, we have these evil and skinny headlights that are taken on the R6 and the R7 from the A7, here fitted with optional laser light. Just look at how they lead your eye around the vehicle, really, really beautiful. Next up, we have these huge air inlets with vertical struts that's, that almost reach the lower end of the headlights. And then obviously the main design feature of the front, which is the more angular and lower sitting uh, single frame grille. The single frame grille sits 50 millimeters lower than on the predecessors for three very good reasons. First, to make room for the larger V8, for the bigger turbos, and to resemble the style of the R8. To round all of this up, the whole front is wider, beefier, and really, really, really well put together. I love it. Now let's see what both these cars have to offer when it comes to the wheels and the customization options. Big 21-inch wheels are standard on both cars, with massive 22-inch fitted on these two here. They receive a new R-specific design and are available in aluminum, titan optic, or anthracite black. Both cars come standard with big R steel brakes with ventilated discs. Both these cars are fitted with optional RS ceramic brakes, with discs that measure 14 inch in the rear and a massive 17 inch in the front that is bigger than some other cars' wheels. The optional blue, gray or red calipers accentuate the looks really well. It is small details like this that make me fall in love with these cars the more I look at them. And with Audi Exclusive, customers get the opportunity to design their car according to their wildest dreams. What do you guys think so far? Let me know below in the comment section. Earlier today, I got on a call with one of our prominent R7 customers and asked him to give me his thoughts on the new generation. Here is what he had to say. Hey Sahib, good to be speaking to you again and hello to all the Audi fans in the world and the Middle East. As many of you know, the R7 was my first official entry into the Audi Sport family. But last year we parted ways, and to be honest, I still feel sad and terrible for letting her go. Luckily, she's found a new home, and the new owner updates me all the time, so I'm happy. So you can imagine how excited I am. There's a new one on the horizon, and judging from what I have seen, oh man, put me on that list. I was one of the lucky few to sample the car that you have right now in the studio, and judging from the first impressions, 
Man, I've got a lot to say. If you want to know what I think, check out my first impressions on my Instagram. There are tags on the screen, so people, you know where to go. Thank you for having me today. It's been an honor to be here. And if you're considering to get the R7 or even the R6, take it from me. It's a no-brainer. Zezilla out. Back to you. And that's the verdict from the infamous Z Zillow. It is great to get insight into these RS models from a current owner and a very proud fan of Quattro. Now I'm going to take you inside each of these impressive models. In both vehicles, we find ourselves in a driver-oriented cockpit that we already know from the A6 and A7 with the all-digital MMI touch response seamlessly integrated into the interior landscape. A standard Audi virtual cockpit now includes our specific displays that give you a glance at things like torque, boost pressure, or acceleration timings. The optional head-up display has been redesigned and features these new graphics as well. Together with the Audi Drive Select system, easily accessible via the panel, two new RS1 and RS2 modes with a quick access button on the steering wheel have been introduced. They allow you to access two fully customizable modes that influence the transmission, the engine sound, as well as the suspension or steering characteristics of the vehicle. The design team did their utmost to differentiate both cars from their respective base version. We find RS logos on the steering wheel, we find RS logos on the floor mats, and as well on the seats. Fitted on these cars are the standard RS sport seats in super soft Valcona leather with honeycomb stitching here in red and perforated seats that allow for seat ventilation. We find color stitching on the steering wheel, gear lever gaiter, knee pads, and a very beautiful piping here in red on the seat belts. Again, attention to detail. Should you ever sit on the back of the RS6, you will quickly notice that the car is even roomier at the back. There is plenty of head and knee room. The RS6 boot capacity varies between 565 and 1680 liters and is easily accessible via a standard power tailgate with optional food gesture control. In the RS7, the design team aimed at increasing everyday practicality and improved roominess by offering the Super Audi for the first time as a five-seater. The boot capacity for the RS7 measures 535 to 1390 liters and two features a standard electric compartment. And that brings me to the end of a very detailed overview of the Audi RS6 and Audi RS7. You can visit audime.com slash rs6 or audime.com slash rs7 for more information. Get in touch with your local market representative for more information about exact arrival dates. Thank you for joining us today and get ready for an even bigger reveal coming up next. Back to you, Zahira. Wow, what a roundup of two very remarkable vehicles. I now understand why each have such a large cult following. Up next, we're about to talk some more about the car, the myth, the legend, the Audi R8. <laughs>
To those of you who have just tuned in, welcome. And to those diehard fans who have been glued to their screen since the start, we see you. We're almost at the end of introducing some of the most exciting arrivals onto the regional automotive scene. If you've missed any of the previous reveals, remember that all of today's events will be available on our social media platforms. The time has come to introduce an Audi legend. And who better to do that than the man who relocated his entire life to get closer to the love of his life, the automotive industry. Recently, he spent some on-the-road time with the all-new Audi R8, so you know you're getting first-hand accounts of what it's like to be in the driver's seat. If this doesn't give you goosebumps, I don't know what will. Audi has just released a new version of their popular R8 supercar. So, what's it like? Here's the V10 with its Lamborghini brother. An intelligent quattro all-wheel drive system. And on a mountain road like this, what did you think it was gonna be like? like these, they don't come around often. So why not do this again? Thank you, Zahira. It is such a pleasure for me to be here today to be reacquainted with one of my absolute favorite supercars, the Audi R8. Recently, I was a part of an epic project that I did in partnership with Audi Middle East, where we took the R8 to one of my favorite driving roads in the region. Let me tell you more about what made the drive so memorable. So it was just me, the 2020 Audi R8, and an empty double jace, a beautiful mountain road that stretches over 20 kilometers in length from base to top, with over 60 and unrepeated turns, a perfect road for such a car. Keep in mind, this is still the same supercar that you could drive and live with every day. It has a large compartment in the front trunk, comfortable touring seats, and an overall comfortable ride, which allows great performance on both road and track. Speaking of track, now Audi tells us that the R8 that you can buy from the showroom is really no different from the one that you can race on the track. In order to confirm the statement, I spoke directly to the Audi customer racing program, the same guys who prepare these cars for the track. Check out what they had to say. A warm welcome to all of you from Audi Sport Customer Racing out in Neuburg, Germany. I'm Chris Reinke, the head of Audi Sport Customer Racing, and it is my very pleasure to attend the launch of the RS models of Audi Middle East. Especially, of course, for me as a racer, the launch of the latest evolution of the R8, which is also the base of our GT race car since 2009. And when we talk the base of our race car, it actually is more than 50% the very same car. Not only that we use the very same engine, the 5.2 liter V10 power plant also in our race car, we also obviously use the Audi space frame chassis, which we upgrade with a roll cage and with some edge eggs to make it suitable for racing purposes. In the Middle East, the 24 hour race of Dubai are a special international highlight event for us. We not only enter the RS3 LMS, the GT4 and GT3 version of the R8 LMS there, we also won this race, not only once, but twice, and just lately, last year in 2019, we won it with the GT3 overall. But our R8 LMSs are not just designed for pure competition racing. A lot of customers choose to take them out for track days, resort racing, or just for the sheer pleasure of driving on the tracks around the globe. 
especially the R8 LMS GT2 that you see behind me, is designed for this very purpose. But as I said before, more than 50% of the road car of the R8 is actually the same. So if you choose to take your road car onto the track to use it for track days, I wish you the best of joy. It has been a pleasure to join you here today. Keep your fingers crossed for all R8 races around the globe. Thank you. Sitting behind the wheel and then pressing this red button was enough to boost my adrenaline as it gave life to the big beautiful engine behind me, which is a naturally aspirated 5.2 liter V10 that you can also find in the Lamborghini Huracan. Hitting high speeds in the Audi R8 was effortless. With launch control, it can do 0 to 100 in just 3.2 seconds, and it has a top speed of 330 kilometers an hour. Impressive, right? Born on the track, built for the road. You can now visit AudiME.com where you can actually play around with the configurator and build your own R8 and order it. And through Audi's exclusive customization program, you can have pretty much any look you want tailored to your exact requirements. To know more about the exact arrival dates in your region, you can get in touch with your local market representatives. Many thanks to my friends at Audi Middle East for reuniting me with this beauty, which happens to be one of my absolute favorite supercars. That's a wrap for me. I think I'm gonna go and spend some time with this beauty here. Anyways, in the meantime, back to you, Zahira. And there you have it, folks. Look out for the all-new Audi R and RS Rangers on our roads. They are most certainly going to be a pleasure to follow. My name is Zahira Marti, and it was a pleasure spending the day with you today. If you've missed any of the action, head over to Audi Middle East Socials for a recap. Until next time, goodbye.